Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, as you can tell, I did not clean the transmission. I got hooked up on this dash and I stayed there. I got the ashtray put back in. I got the glove, door, glove box door put back on. I got them both working. Got them both in sh where they should be. And what happened was after I got them on, I kept thinking about my instrument panel. Like, what, what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? Um, there was a couple videos back there that showed me stripping it with stripper, pulled all the green paint off. Um, it had a bunch of pits in it. I know, I know from experience that that dash pod, if I sent it away to get it chromed, probably would have cost me $1,000. And the reason I'm saying that, because I've had two taillight doors chromed and it cost me $2,000. So I know just that one piece in there with all the pits that it had in it, it probably would have cost me $1,000. Not saying that's good, not saying that's bad, I'm just saying probably that's what it would have cost. Uh, I'm not there. I'm not there. I would never. I would not want to spend that much money on that on that uh, dash pod chrome. And the and the reason being is is how much it costs. Um, I'm, I don't want to go there. Um, I'm not. Don't want to go there. Do not want to nickel and dime myself. You know what happens when you start putting a bunch of money in little tiny small stuff in your car? It just adds up and adds up and adds up and adds up. But you know what I like to do. I like to become creative. I like to become creative. I find that creativity is the oyster of the world. Anybody can become creative. All you have to do is use your own brain. And uh, that's what I did last night. Uh, what I did is I took the dash pod and I sanded it down. I painted it black. I'll show you right here at the present moment. I painted it black. I used a, I used a satin black. Uh, I used a zinc chromate first on, on the chrome. I sanded it, tried to get the paint to stick really good. Uh, it didn't stick that well. I, I scratched it a couple times with the scissors. I had to go back over it. Um, I used a zinc chromate first, and then I sat and blacked it. And then I took the stick on chrome. You can buy this stick on chrome in di many different shapes and forms. Um, they have a, a 1 8th, I think it's 1 8th. Yeah, it's a 1 8th chrome, quarter chrome. It's stick on, it has 3M tape on the back. And as you can see, I've layered it on where it was. This was all pitted up in there. It was all pitted, all pitted, all pitted. It was all pitted here really, really, really bad. This is where the steering wheel comes up through. It was all pitted over here really bad. Uh, this is the piece that's going into the, to the dash. So that's what I've done. I've, I've chromed it myself. I sat down the house uh, at the table. Uh, Jolene was doing her work on the computer. I sat there with a pair of scissors, peeled off the sticky on the on the 3M tape, and I chromed the dash pod because I want to put I want to finish the dash. I'm not sure what a package of that cost. I've had a couple packages here, and that's why I went with it. Uh, and creativity is the oyster of the world. Like I mean, let's face it. Um, if I can create something uh, creatively, and have this cost me. $25 instead of $1,000 and have myself do it, plus have something different that no one else has. And uh, when, when we show it, someone's going to say, wow, never knew they made a dash that looked like that. And that comes from creativity. I have, I have the, the stainless that goes on the dash here. I have to get creative again this morning. That's what I have to do. I have to get creative again this morning. I have the stainless that goes on here on the dash. Um, it needs to be polished, and it also, I see it has a dent in it. I think that this car was found in the junk, a junkyard in, uh, in the U.S. I think it was found in the junkyard. But anyways, it has a, it has a dent there. It would have to be fixed. This would have to be polished. I'm missing three clips. I'm missing three clips. I'm not sure. You'd probably spend more for three clips than you would for a package of that chrome there probably. But as I get looking at it, as I get looking at it, this, this dash pod here that I have, when I push this, put this dash pod in there, these, this, what, I, what I've done here, where I've got these strips going here, does not match up with this. And, this, and that's what goes on, is what I'm looking at. That's what goes on. That this here matches up with that and carries on. Well, that doesn't look the same to me. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't jive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own chroming on the dash to jive with what we have here. I enjoy what I have here. It looks nice. It looks nice against the paint. We're going to see it here in a minute when I slide it in there. Uh, 
but basically what I see here is I got a little bit of, when I put that up to the edge of that, it's not quite straight, and we're a little bit thicker. We're a little bit thicker. We're thicker by one piece of chrome, I would say, and that's the reason because when I chromed, when I did all the chroming on this, it was thicker down here and thinner up here. So what I did is I just, well, I only could do what I could do, so I left it this, this distance down here, which made it that distance up there, and uh, that's what it looks like. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this dash pod in, and then I'm going to run the, the, the stick-on chrome on in place of the stainless. And the reason being is I want to continue on with this. Now, now as I continue on with that, it just, you know, it just runs downhill. When you customize something or you change something, it just keeps running downhill. I have this piece here. This, I showed this piece here before. We've already painted those. This piece here goes on like so. And it goes over top like that. And it's this piece here, the stainless runs up to this. And then it has this, this action in here that's supposed to be chrome that runs with the dash. That was all pitted. That even got filled out and got primered heavy and then got sanded out to make it look like something so we could paint it. So what I'm basically going to do is, is I'm going to run, don't know if I'm going to do it all in this video or not, but I'm going to run all the chrome on the dash. I'm going to run the chrome that's on this part. And then when it comes time, I'm going to run, I'm going to do the chrome this exactly like this. That's what I'm going to do to, to make it um, to make it ours. And basically, we'll figure out how we're going to do it. We'll probably run all the run, run a piece all the way around, and then we'll run it straight that way all the way along to make it look the way it should look, or do something to be creative to make it look the way we want it to look. We really, I really want the dash to, you know, we've got it painted nice. It's hard. For, it's hard for me to put something in that's, you know, I couldn't put the dash back in the way it was. <coughs> I could sand it and uh, paint it, um, but it didn't have no chrome on it. And, and we know the 50s cars are chrome, 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 chrome. That's basically what they are. So basically, I want to stick with the chrome, but I'm going to add a little bit more to it and make it a little more flashy, and, uh, but I'm just going to be creative and do it my way. Um, also, I, just want, I think I've said this before. You can buy this, this stick-on chrome with a 3M tape on the back of it. I've got a piece of stainless up here, which I'm probably going to use. You could... You could very well use the stick-on chrome to layer that and make that piece because I've, I've done it before on sills. But on this, on this piece here, the drip rail molding, there's sometimes people have, you take your drip rail molding off and you ruin it because it's just, it's on there. It's hard to get off without messing it up and, and damaging it. And to fix it, it takes time. But there is a piece of stick-on chrome that I am going to put on that drip rail molding to fix those and have them look like new. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so let's, let's do this. On one end here, I see that it's not quite straight. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, it's not quite straight on that end right there. So I'm just gonna take a grinder and straighten it out a little bit. I'm just gonna make the grinder and straighten it out a bit. Just like that, folks. Just like that. Straighten that out. And I straighten that out. Just had a little round spot going on. So I'm going to stick this in there. I'm going to stick this in there. And then we're going to run our chrome. Very delicate putting this stuff together. Very delicate. Good. Awesome. Get a couple of screws. I really enjoy. Wow. I really enjoy the, the black on the orange. That makes me smile. That makes me smile. And everybody knows everybody likes to smile. I'll just put this on loosely for a second. That way there, if there's any adjustment needed, I can adjust it. 
You must agree. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. But you must agree, um, having it an old dash pod and having poor chrome on it and shoving it in a new painted dash is very hard. It's, it's hard to do. It's hard to do for me, and I'll tell you why, because it just doesn't, it just doesn't jive. It does not jive sometimes. And what I mean, it does not jive. It doesn't look as good as the paint does. And uh, what I'd like to do, like I said, is get creative. And uh, what I'm doing here, everything's going good. Everything's going good. Get creative and make it look like something. Um, I do have some of the stainless. Yes, I do. But it all has to be repaired. Um, I, I'm, th I'm thinking that the, the plastic chrome on the inside would last probably forever, just as long as the paint would. That's what I'm thinking. That looks good. Now you can picture that. If you can picture this, uh, that's a satin black. Now if you can picture uh, the car with the, that on the bottom, that on the top, with the black thunderbolt going down to the side in shiny paint, you know what it's going to look like. Pow! It's going to look good. Amazing, I like that, love it. I'm gonna tighten that up first on the top. I got that screws on there. This satin black paint on the chrome, I would, I would not say that it's very, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get clean it with a scouring pad. <laughs> nope, I'd go easy on it. Yes, I would. Just gonna go lightly on that. And I did that inside the house as I was sitting down watching TV. Did it in the house, took my time. Um, I had to paint it, obviously. I did it with a spray bomb. It was quick, easy. Uh, the satin black hides nice, I find, if you're painting something that, you know, let's face it, it hides nice, satin black does. Leave it like that. Uh, there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Have to be very careful with that stuff. See, I don't know if it's knocked off there a little bit. I can touch it up easy enough. Okay. Let's, uh, let's run some chrome to match that up. So what I have is I have some stainless here and I'd have to clean it. I got to dent it, I have to fix that. It does not match up with that. And I don't think I could get it as shiny as that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some tape. I got this, <laughs> like Buddy says, is that the dollar store tape? It might be, <laughs> it might be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a piece of tape here so I can get my line going straight on my chrome, basically. There's a fine, looks straight to me. Hmm. Just want to try to get as straight as possible. Probably should have had the other piece. I got this piece. I took all the pieces inside the house. And the reason being is, is that they do not need to be out here. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is, that's the line for the top of the chrome where I have that, have that on there like that. I'm gonna run one over here. You can see it goes with the top of the line of the, of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to apply this, well, I'm not gonna try. I am, I'm gonna apply this with chrome right before your very eyes, just so you can see how easy it is. Not easy. How about, how about how it can be applied and how, 
It might be hard. Who knows? Just trying to follow the line with the top of the dash. We have been getting rain and ice for the last three or four days, or last little while, and uh, we are going to be in a mess. We've got about six, we probably got six to eight inches ice on our property, right from to garage, right to the house. Uh, I took and went to town yesterday. I drove over top of the deck with the truck and never even broke the ice. The ice is over top of the deck. I know how thick it is because I know how thick the deck is. The deck is, it had a two, well, it's eight inches at least. It had two by eight on the bottom of it. I drove right over top of the deck. The, the ice is right over top of the deck. You can't even notice it didn't break through or nothing. It's that thick. And now it's raining again. It's raining again. So, all right, there, there we go. We got a little piece of tape on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the chrome to, to the tape, and then I have to layer each piece with that basically, and then we're going to have a new looking dash pod. Awesome, eh? All right. And then I have to do these, so there's a little bit more to it than just, than, uh, just, just running the chrome on that. I'll have to run the chrome on. I'm going to move this. So if you have a piece of chrome or a piece of stainless missing on your 50s Ford, like even, even like we, we have a, a 48 Chevy fleet line. Um, on that 48 Chevy fleet line, it has three pieces of chrome on the back fender, and then it has some on the back and the quarter panel, or back and back in the quarter panel, and then you can get a fender skirt with that on there too. If you do not have that stainless and you want that look, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty easy, and it's got no dents in it. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's shiny, um, it's pliable, it's yeah. I use it because uh, let's face it, I'm getting creative to get it where, what I want, and what I want is a good look. Sometimes the packaging is a little bit to be desired for, and what I mean by that, sometimes they glue it right to what's going on and sometimes that's not nice because you it wastes sometimes and if these people that make this stuff want me to promote it for them just get a hold of us <laughs> I'm your man all right baby I'm your man because I use it there's no better person than to promote something than something somebody uses something I got some tape up there see Get that tape off. Hurts and crafts. That's basically what it is. Hurts and crafts. That's basically what it is. They don't think of the person then when they stick that tape on there, do they? They just want to stay in the package. You know, when they run the tape on that thing and you can't get the tape off that they put on. See? I would let them know, don't do that. You know, if you can't find something that sticks on it better than that, well then don't do it. See what I mean? Like how the sticky stuff stain and the tape stain on there? It's come off all right. I saw it come off all right. But when you're wasting you know, when you're doing stuff to make it harder on somebody, don't do that. I'll just cut that end off. This stuff cuts easy. We all know that the 3M tape is really good. Everybody uses it right from the collision world to the, to the restoration world to the, to the craft world. All righty. Now, I don't know how many feet of this we got. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run. How am I going to do that? Hold it like a purse. What I'm going to do is run it. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than I need it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit longer than I need it. And I'm going to cut, cut it off. Now, 
Now, basically what I'm saying I gotta do is, is I gotta run that. And I like to check it over too before I put it on, just in case there's something I don't like. And I can wipe it off before it gets on there. I had like one package that was stuck to the, the, they stuck it to the cardboard inside and it pulled all the paper off, just like as if I painted. Alrighty, what I'm gonna do, start running this stuff. I got a piece of tape to go with. I got a pair. Jolene usually does this for me. But Jolene's doing the camera right at the present moment, so do it yourself. Takes a minute sometimes. Bear with me. See if we can't get this dash looking dashing today. Now, this stuff, when you put it on, it can make you feel like, well, not feel like, it's just, it's very hard on the eyes because it, it is chrome and it really plays with your, with your eyes. Just gonna put it on lightly at first. As soon as you press bear down on her, She's, uh, she's wanting to stick. As you can tell, this stuff is more or less arts and crafts. Looks good already. Jolene. Mm. And up the end here, it's got a little curl to it. It curls up. Yes, it does. We'll just leave that like that. There's our first piece. I can snip it off just to make it a little bit shorter. Now, this piece here, this piece here goes over top of that. So if we, we get it off so far, we can take the grinder and knock it off a little bit further if we want to. And I just use the flapper wheel or you can use a little smaller wheel if you want to. But you know what I'm like, I, I use <laughs> the big grinder and, and uh, that sort of stuff. Just wanna make it up there on that tape. It's gonna look down. See if it's good and looks pretty good and straight. I can push on it a little bit, move it around a little bit to make sure it's in place. And it's by eye. It's all by eye. Let's run another length of it, and then we're just gonna put it beside that one and do the exact same thing. We got five lengths to go. Not sure if we got enough to do it all with what we have here but we're gonna go for it. So at the end of what's going on here, the piece goes over top of that, so I'm not, not concerned with that. Not concerned. Now that, that went quick, that one. Just fitting it up as tight as possible. And I'm gonna run that as tight as possible to the other chrome. You can't see through it. Gotta be careful, this stuff will run up on top of the chrome if you want it to. And it's hard to see because it's chrome. <laughs> it, it shines back at you quite heavy. But that's what we like about it, is it not? It's like running mirrors on your car. Now 
Then I can put this dash, I can put this dash away and say it's ready for when, when I'm done. You know, I can, I can put it in the house. I can put it in the house and say there, and I'm ready when it's done. Just cut that off just so I don't hit it. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. Go for another one. And guarantee you, me, <laughs> anybody that's into these cars, like anybody that's, you know, there's people that are into 56 Fords, 55, you know, into the Fords. Um, there will be somebody ask, where did you get the chrome for your car? I guarantee it. Um, and, you know, unless, unless they watch. <clears throat> if they watch, then they'll know. But there will be somebody that will ask, where, where did you get your chrome for your car? Is that original? Did that come like that? And, and uh, that will happen. That will happen. And if you, know, if you like that sort of stuff, it's something different than what someone else has. This is totally different than what somebody else has. There will probably be an, will not be another 55 Mercury and I could probably can say it, in the world that will have a dash that looks like this. They might have the dash pod, they may have the dash, but they won't have the chrome because of me being creative. There might be one after today, but let's face it. Follow along there. Trying to get as straight as possible. And I was going to take a lot of the stainless and get it fixed. But why would I do that when I can do this? You know, why would, why would I do that when I can do this? Gonna cut that off now. Make it easier on myself. Looks beautiful already, doesn't it, baby? She she agrees with me, boys. She agrees with me. She's gonna be looking at it just as much as I am. So And you can do this with any like anything, just become creative with it. You can do it with anything. Um, you can do your car, you can do your motorcycle, you can, I've even painted, took a, we got a radio in the house, it's a 50s wooden radio, I, I sanded it down, I, I sprayed it with a, a nice primer, or your thing, I always use a feather fill, I sprayed it with the primer, I sanded it down, this is a wooden stereo, the wooden ones you can get, you can get them cheap because they're just a wooden radio, people don't, you know, they look nice, but they're just hard to play and, 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 uh, keep around because they're just, you know, what can I say? It's just an old radio with a wooden box on it. They're usually veneer. But if you have any bad veneer spots, you just body fill it and fix it, obviously. Um, you can, I urethaned it, I painted it, and then I lined it in the chrome, and it sits there and it looks just like a, like a baby jukebox. It, it's so pretty. Is it not, Jolene? It's pretty, 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 pretty. Um, and also what you can do, and for those artsy, craftsy people that, you know, are going to take that, and go and go with it you can pinstripe them you can put uh, like Bluetooth stereo systems in them and you can paint them any color you want you can paint them metallic you can do whatever you want and uh, just call be called creative and and what I did is like there's a bunch of ribs in it and I just ribbed all the ribs in chrome 
And uh, someday I'll show you. We did the, the speaker box, cover it in blue with the black, and it really looks 50s. And it's quite something. Didn't put any kind of uh, Bluetooth stereo in it at all yet, but I have it there. It's all painted. It's all done. Uh, sometime I'll show it to you. It looks amazing. Looks amazing. Like Jolene. Amazing. Now, a, a, a box of this stuff, I think, will run you. I'm not sure what it run you. What's it run you, you know? 20 for $25, Jolene's saying. That's Canadian. Not sure what it, what it runs anybody else. Not sure of their prices. Sometimes I get the prices wrong because I don't pay for the stuff. Jolene's usually the, the bearer of the bad news. And what I mean by the bearer of the bad news is she's the one who, who, pay, who pays for it and acquires it. And I just get to play. And I consider this playing. And I like that this one eight stuff, see, I can bend it at the end, like where it turns up, I can bend it. And the reason I can bend it, because it's the one eight stuff. You get the thicker stuff, then it's harder to bend. But it can be done. Get your heat gun out. Get your heat gun out and go for it. All righty, how many more we got to go? We got four on there, four more to go. Ooh, four more to go. Looking good. It's going to be quite a piece of... Stainless run across there, isn't it, boys? Huh? It's going to be quite a piece of stainless. Wow. Huh? And does it, does it not resemble the, the stainless on a 56 Ford? Does it not? Down the side. It does so. It's going to have more ribs in it than that because it's more special than that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying myself. But uh, it does resemble the 56 Ford stainless going down the side. So basically, where I'm, if I use two packets, if I use two packets on this, that means that it'll, it'll cost me $40 to chrome the dash, compared to probably a thousand or more. Well, considering that I would have to, had to fix the stainless and polish the stainless, would it cost more? And also, I have something that's custom that no one else has. That's what I have. I have something that no one else has. And to me, that's worth more than $1,000. Worth more than $1,000. And this right here, you know, playing it on an old car, customizing an old car, and doing what I'm doing right here, you know, this can be the most freedom in the world that you could ever imagine. And as I lay down each piece of chrome, I'm proving it. And that'll stay on there. Ooh, man. Looks good. Get a little bit of tape residue there. We'll get that off when we wash. You can wipe it off with your fingers, but a little bit of tape residue there. Loving it. Loving it. It's always nice to sit back and love what you're doing. And that's what I'm doing right at the present moment. I'm loving what I'm doing. Now, I wished... I'm not going to make it. Make it on the other side, though.
it will it will and make it on the other side and what I mean that little small piece there I would never throw that away because that'll do all that we got that left to do now if we get this all done we'll pick it up and show it to you hello Fina Come on off, man. I won't hurt you. Just want to put you on the car, that's all. Yes, um, if you've ever seen the inside of our house, our, our kitchen looks 50s. We've got a light baby blue, and I pinstriped all the cabinets with chrome. It has three strips of chrome on the cabinets, and it looks, it absolutely looks amazing. And if these people, these people that make this stuff need somebody to be the face of it, I know somebody. <laughs> I, use it on, I, use, I use it whenever I can, and the reason being is, is because it's more reasonable and practical than, you know, Chroming, it's more reasonable and practical than chroming. I'll just leave it as that. Uh, we also did a video on how to chrome a, a 30s car bumper. I call them a blade, whatever you want to call it. You call it whatever you want to call it. And we did a video on that way back when. I think when we, we did that video, it was a video that... Trying to make everything tight and right. Tight and right. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous you are, Jolene. You know. Now, two more to go. Wow, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. 50s chrome all over, baby. Now I've got this here. <clears throat> I'm gonna, gonna, gonna open a new pack. And the reason being is that one had some tape on it. Bad Chad and the flexible chrome. It sounds like a good band, doesn't it? But I couldn't play it, you know, I, I couldn't play a tune in a bucket. <laughs> I suppose that's supposed to, it's supposed to be carry a tune in a bucket. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. Now, let's just see if they got it taped on there. No, nope, that's good. That's good. Hats off to whoever packaged that one. They did a good job packaging that one. Well, I spoke too soon. They got more tape on this one than cod livers got oil pills. And then what I mean by the tape is the tape that holds it together. That comes off nice. That one come off nice. Let's see if we can get it off again nice. Take some some good eyes too. And uh, my eyes nowadays aren't the best. Good. That went well. Packaged very nice. Very nicely packaged, whoever done that one. Number, and that's how you do that, isn't it? Get the number off it, you know who packaged it. My knife underneath there. So I'll have to, to get creative on that piece, but we can manage it. I know we can. I have faith. I want to thank everybody for voting for Jolene on Jet Setter. She's back in the rightful position. She's back in the rightful position.
perfectly matched up or not, but. This stuff looks at you. Hard on the vision sometimes. that one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven I've got it's so it's so close right there I think I I think I gotta do it. Gotta do it, gotta run one more, gotta do it. I think I got to, we'll put it up there. It's so close. And you would, you would, you know, if you're sitting, sitting in the car and you're counting the dash chrome, well, <laughs> good for you. Come take a look, Jolene. Should I run another one or leave it? Run another one or leave it? Run another one? What do you think? Run another one. What do you think? Run another one? All right, she says run another one, boys. And it is a decision you have to make. And uh, the quicker you make it, the quicker you get it done. you make it, the quicker it gets done. You getting the time? Okay. <clears throat> One more piece and we're done this side. Yeah, it's the right call. It's the right call. eyeballs. Hard on the eyeballs. You know why it's hard on the eyeballs? So much chrome. Not sure if I'm going to run a piece like that or not. like that actually. I like, guess it that finished look. I might put that on after. See I got this piece going on here. I might put that on there to give it the finished look mm -hmm. right across there. Just kind of gives it a nice finished look. Mm -hmm. Get it the right length, cut that off. Gives it a nice finished look.
You could use this on an interior if you want it to. You know, you have... I've used it on interior. And that's down a door skin or door panel. Gonna stick it on there, see what it looks like. I can always pull it back off because it's stuck on top of the chrome itself. Kind of gives it that overlook, overclap look, doesn't it? Sure does. Sure does. I can always pull it off easy. Yeah, awesome. Now we got some pieces to run on this side. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've got a little piece here I want to use up. And then I'll stand the dash up and show it to you. I'll stand it up and show it to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it quicker just by cutting all the pieces. Hoping that piece is long enough. <laughs> Chewing this all up and not have it long enough. Hoping it is. I better check. <laughs> I better check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably a little too long, but too long is better than too short. Alrighty, I got some pieces here. We'll just take and peel them off of the rays. So when I'm done with the chrome and on the dash, I can take the dash and put it in the house and set it there until I'm ready to put it in, basically. Jolene's doing two things at once, boys. She's good. Get up there now. That's what I like about that stuff. I can you can bend it. Just goes over top of this. I'm gonna cut that piece off.
There's this saying I used to say a lot, and I haven't said it for a while, but those who beat to their own drum shape the world. And basically, it's more or less a person that can do as they feel without hurting anybody, without you know causing any problems, and do as they feel can really shape the world because they do as they want, not what everybody else is thinking or what they should be doing. And uh, if you feel like you can uh, do something without being coerced to do it their way or somebody's way or be, you know, do something without, um, you know, saying that's, without somebody saying you can't do that or you shouldn't do that or you should do it this way, without being, what's that called? I don't know what the word is called, but, you know, be, being able to do something without someone's permission or approval um, that's how a person should be in life. Do as you do as you want to do, and make yourself happy. And uh, as you do stuff like that, um, you'll be rewarded by doing it your way. I remember when I first decided that. You know, after I got <laughs> fired from my job, that I decided that I wanted to work on old cars because that's what I enjoyed, you know. And as I had an elderly man tell me that you'll never make a living with old cars, especially here in Nova Scotia, there's, you know, you'll never make a living. Well, we know that's a lie, <laughs> you know. And I'm glad I didn't listen to that because <laughs> where would I be? I'd probably be working for somebody else doing something that I did not like to do or did not want to do and not doing it my way. And uh, if you can go through this world doing things your way, and beat to your own drum, <laughs> many things can happen. And remember, creativity is the oyster of the world, creativity. Ask anybody that's created anything. Where would they be if they didn't create it? And where would they be if they listened to everybody else? Where would they be? I need how many more pieces? Hmm. I wish I would have cut more pieces and then I would have known. But anyways, if that's where I'm at. Right here by the computer. Will be will be easy to get to all the comments. How many have I got there? How many more do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I need three more. Got my clickers on today. Got my clickers on today. Clickers are my boots. They click, clack, they do. So if I listen to somebody say, I wouldn't put that plastic chrome on my car. Well, <laughs> you know what? I will. Because um, I'm willing to do as I want to do, not what anybody else says. And as I put it on here and I flip this dash up and show you, you're going to say, wow, I might put it on myself. And I'm thinking it'll last, I'm thinking like in the interior, I think it would last a lifetime. Ah. 
And the ends of this get swallowed up by that piece on the end there. So we're going to be fine. Baby, you better stand back quite a ways. When I flip this dash up, it might take your eyes out. Are you ready for the reveal? Huh? You ready for the reveal? Can you get back a little? Yeah, I better cap it. I think it just gives it a finished look, doesn't it? Huh? Gives it a finished look. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, piece right there. You couldn't get anything much easier than a pair of scissors and, and stick on, could you? I wouldn't think. Big trunk contract coming now. Stick on chrome. Big contract coming. Standing back far enough. I might do that one again. I can pull that right off and do that again. I'll make this one better, but whatever. Kind of shows it that it's finished. I'll pull the green tape off. Now, now we'll be able to say, now I'll be able to take the dash inside the house and, uh, you know, Say I'm getting, I'm getting close to have the dash put in the car. So I've got two of the, you know, two different colors on it. The cheapest, cheapest paint that, or not cheapest, the most reasonable price paint that I could buy. It's a, it's a urethane. I got the most reasonable price paint on the top. It's urethane. I've got stick-on chrome. That's the most reasonable chroming that I could do. I have a little bit of satin black, and I have creativity. Love it. And what I'm saying is you can do the exact same thing on your ride. Do the exact same thing on your ride. Um, this dash has caused me nothing but a little bit of time an effort. I can't see it right now, but I'm, I'm thinking that it looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, if, if you feel like you want to get creative on something, you can. And uh, I'd like to look at it myself. I got to turn around and come look at it myself. I don't want to let it down. I want to see it stood up. Ugh. Just want to see it. Got a little bit of dirt on there. It's going to look gorgeous. Let it down some. You know, obviously, the dash is not going to be pointing up at you. It's going to be tilted down. I just want to... That's what it's going to look like right there. All right, let's give away a hat or a shirt. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that some people got inspired or feel like they want to do something on their ride to make it look cool. I'm happy with the dash. It's got all new chrome on it. Um, we're, we're going in the right direction. We are, we are, we are. Like, it's something that I'm going to be happy to look at inside the car. Remind yourself, we got a nice stainless steer, steel steering column coming out of it. We have a nice steering wheel that we're going to paint with the chrome bullet on it, with the chrome coming off it. It should be quite something inside. we got these pieces here. Um, I have to figure out how to chrome this piece here, but I'm sure I can get creative.
and chrome this out. This has to be white because this is the bottom. This is going to go over top of that. So now I'm going to chrome this piece here and this is going to be white down here and it's going to be quite something else. So I'm hoping that you know if, if uh, you can get creative and put a little bit of uh, stick on I got a little bit of tape, you can see tape residue on there. If you want to get creative and do your project the same way, you can. And I'm using the bare necessities. Sounds like that, that bear, the bare necessities. You want to bring it over there? Got to go to the front? All right, let's give away a hat or shirt. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the nice comments. I want to thank everybody for voting for Jolene, for Jet Setter. We st there's still more time to go. Uh, there's still more time to go. Yes, there is. I'm going to let Fina my dog out. Had fun last night painting that black, sitting on the, on the table in the bedroom, just chroming it out. I got to show Jolene when I was all done, and she said, wow, that looks very nice. So I was happy with that. She enjoyed it. Um, I'm happy that it did not cost me thousands of dollars. Basically, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. And these, that's, these are the moments right here, um, painting the dash and, and getting it two-tone. That's, that's fun to do. But the moments when you start putting the chrome on it like that and making it look like something from, for mere for pocket change, that's where it's at for me. That's, that's, when I, that's when I become very happy and motivated from doing something like that, um, getting results with creativity. Are we going to work? You want me to put it out the door? It's raining out, but put it out the door. She's going to try something else, boys. No internet. You see it? The weather? Do you want me to open the door? I know it's raining out, but. What? See what happens. We get her out the door. We've got a lot of ice. Wow. We seen people stopped alongside the road yesterday and we were out for a drive and the ice was coming off the roof of the vehicles and when they would stop at the stop sign it was coming crashing down on their hood. Mm. Whoa, what a bunch of damage that would be. 777 comments, 777 boys. I like that number. I did, I, basketball, hockey, I like number seven. Robbie N. Jones, love the colors. Seriously, that's a stunning job and great color choice. Well, thank you very much, Rob. That's what I mean by great comments. You taking your time putting in a comment of the 777 comments that we've gotten, you get a hat or a shirt of your choice. Robin N. Jones, you just have to message Jolene. And if you got a little bit more time, just throw in a vote on Jet Setter. We wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. I hope, I hope that me doing what I've done there lets somebody else do their car the exact same way and become creative. Um, we, had, we did a video a long time ago where we, we, where we chromed a bumper to make it look like a Briz bumper. You can buy them Briz bumper. They're aluminum, and they're very expensive. They're to made to look like a DeSoto bumper back in the day. But you can do the exact same thing with that stick-on chrome on a blade and then cut the ends off, and you can have a beautiful bumper. I've, I've, known, I've done it a few times, and uh, you can do that to make your bumpers look nice. Also on Elvis, on the top of the doors, on top of the doors, and top of the, on the on the drip rail moldings, on places like that. I will hit that with that stick on chrome, and when I'm done, that car is going to look smoking. Jolene's smoking. See you later, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll move on to something else. But I just had to stick with the dash and get the dash done to make it look like what I want it to look like because I had the vision. Creativity is the oyster of the world. If you can get creative, like things can happen.